Okay, so we're here with Dance Again and Dance for BringTheNoiseUK.com. How are you guys doing today? Really good. How's your slam dunk been? Fantastic so far. Just got here only a couple hours ago, so a couple of the guys got catering, got a couple drinks, so. Do you know what? It has to be said, everybody is raving about the catering. That's all anyone is talking about today. What has been your catering highlight? Uh, me personally, I haven't ate yet. I was actually going to eat after this interview. But he ate. What was your highlight? It was good. I didn't think it was that great, though. Oh. Yeah. I'm a hater on the catering. You're a hater. You're a hater in. Hater in. <laughs> Such a dog. So, who are you guys stoked to see this weekend? Um, today, I was definitely planning on watching the starting line. Um, definitely catch that. Uh, I missed him yesterday, so I'm excited about that. How about yourself? I thought it would be cool to see Real Big Fish. Uh, I used to listen to them all the time in high school. So. Yeah. Lots of bands I used to listen to like a lot in high school. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the lineup is kind of split 50 50 like old school bands that you always yeah. like love and got like a yeah. real sentiment to. And, like new upstarts, which are just amazing. Yeah. So if you guys weren't at Slamdom this weekend, what would you be doing? Well, we'd probably have already flown home. Because we fly home tomorrow, we stayed a couple extra days for this festival. And I would probably be extremely jet lagged and all confused sitting on my couch, probably up all night because of the time change. <laughs> so, what about you? No, I'd be at home asleep like a baby. I cannot wait to get back to my bed. Yeah. Definitely, like, own bed over tour bed has got a. Honestly, all the beds on this tour have been fabulous, <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me, um, of course, you know, your own personal bed is always better, but. So what do you guys prefer doing? Do you prefer doing, like, festivals like this, or do you prefer touring? That's a good question. I mean, festivals are really fun. Obviously, you get to hang out with your friends. There's so much going on, but, uh, I don't know, regular tours are just obviously a little more organized. Yeah. And go a little more smoothly. Yeah, I definitely like the regular tour environment and just being with a few bands that you know and you know, just the whole experience of a like month long tour with one group of people yeah. as opposed to being put with random you know bands even though it's cool to see old friends and we always do I, I just like the consistency of a uh, regular tour and you obviously get like a good camaraderie with like the other bands that you tour with so how was your you just done a headline tour how was it? it was good it was received really well uh, a lot of the shows were sold out it was uh Definitely impressed ourselves, I'd say. Uh, you say? Yeah, I had a great time. It was our best um, European tour, I think, so far. And this is our third time here. Yeah. So I really like touring with this lineup in Europe. Yeah. And I mean, whenever we go out on tour, we never have expectations whatsoever. Yeah. So it's always it's always just a bonus when stuff does really well and it's successful. So yeah. So yeah, so obviously big summer, loads of festivals coming up all across the board, yeah. America and here. Um, what is your festival survival tips? Festival survival tips. Water, sleep, one I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some drinks, you know. Uh, you got any festival survival tips? You can't party every night. Yeah. You have to sit out at least once every three or four days. Or else or you turn out like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a broken shell of a man. Yeah, you, you're 22 years old and you feel like you're 65. So. You're 22? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I'm a youngster. I'm not in a bad way. Oh, thank you. No, I'm a youngster. So have you ever had I wish I'd never moment? It's like I wish I'd never... Yeah. Well, I've had lots. Oh, I can't... worst one. Oh man. I... I got arrested once. I was. I fought some guy that worked at the hotel. It was really stupid. I was really drunk, and I woke up in the drunk tank in jail and was really confused. Yeah, that was why I was of there. drinking with Lincoln too. Oh, drinking with Lincoln! It was five dollars all you could drink. It was insane. And I'll never do that again as long as I live. Five bucks a drink? It was five bucks for all you could drink. Oh. Yeah. Shit. Yes. Drink with Lincoln because in the States on the $5 bill it has Link Abraham Lincoln on yeah. it. So I like the name. It's very clever. But I. it makes me sick every time I think of it now. Do you think they should introduce a drinking with Lincoln at Slam Dunk? 
Well, yeah, but you guys don't have a Lincoln on your dollar bill, so it wouldn't be clever. Yeah, well... You could do... Who's who's on the... Lizzie. You, yeah, you could do drinking with Liz. <laughs> Liz's booze fest. Yeah. Liz's booze fest. Well, actually, I like it on all the drink tickets for Slam Dunk. It says, uh, in Dunk, we're drunk. <laughs> slam drunk. Yeah, slam drunk. Gotta love that. So, what kind of gadgets or accessories can you not live without over the summer? I'm not much of a person like that. So. I didn't bring anything on the store. No iPods. No, you know, no, no real phone to use. So I don't really care. I mean. Just, yeah, you know, I, hang out every day. I need mean, uh, my MacBook just so I can keep in touch with friends and family back at home. But other than that, I'm not much of a gamer or anything or an electronic guy really. I just I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I was always yeah, I was always an outdoor person, like extreme sports type person. We more so. just kick it with people and yeah. meet people instead of you know spending our time in the band. So if you weren't at Slam Dunk this weekend, what would you be doing? Sleeping. Yeah, we'd be at home uh, preparing for Warped Tour. Yeah, yeah, we I mean, we don't have much to prepare for now. We had to prepare a lot of preparation for this tour because we did the uh, the two back-to-back -back nights in London, yeah. which was uh, uh, the first night was deep downtown Battle Mountain, and the second night was downtown Battle Mountain 2. So we played a lot of songs that we've never really played before, so we actually really had to practice and relearn all these songs. So it was kind of a... A little stressful, but it's over now. Excellent. And what can we expect from you guys today? Uh, good show, hopefully. <laughs> I think yeah, it'll go we'll good. We'll be playing a mix of you know, songs from both albums, and uh, hopefully it goes well. And people don't boo us off stage. Yeah, yeah. they get tomatoes thrown at us. Mm. That happens a lot. It's messy. Get in the shower straight yeah. afterwards. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Can't wait to see you guys later. Thank you. Have a great rest of Slam Dunk. And we'll see you soon. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you.